Between a shattered Gulf Coast in the south, a million acre gigafire out west, and 10 million acres of crops blown down in the heartland, you'll be forgiven for not noticing the typhoon that just hit Asia, the fear of a dam failure in China, heat waves in the Arctic, and plagues of locust from Africa to India. The words biblical proportion come to mind this month, but even the plagues of Egypt didn't come all at once. And meanwhile, the vast majority of the world's scientists continue to remind us that this is only going to get worse until humanity can figure out a way to power our lives without using fuels that burn. For so long in studying climate change, we were studying the future. And now the future is here. But watching the Republican National Convention, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. The Democratic Party of Joe Biden is pushing this so-called Green New Deal. Even when Iowa Senator Joni Ernst brought up the 140 mile an hour winds that ripped apart her state. About one third of our crops here were damaged. She made no mention of climate change, but mocked Joe Biden's ambitious climate plan. If given power, they would essentially ban animal agriculture and eliminate gas-powered cars. There is no mention of cow or car bans in the Green New Deal resolution, but it does lay out the urgent need to move to clean power ASAP and to get ready for what the U.S. military has long called a threat multiplier. Something's happened. You know, uh, Bill, uh, you know, right after Katrina, we had Rita. Fifteen years ago, Lieutenant General Russell Honore took command of Operation Katrina after a botched federal response. Uh, one of your colleagues asked me, he said, uh, do you think we've just had two hurricanes? You think any of this have anything to do with global warming? And I was stunned. Uh, and I gave him some smart answer. And I was haunted for days after that. He says it was the first time he realized that the warnings of science are already coming true. And if he could take command now, he would put the nation to work, bracing for what is inevitable. Most of our dams and bridges are rated D or C. We had one break last year up in Michigan. Fix the dams, fix the road, raise the, the highways, start with culture and the economy. I think our future economy can be driven by finding solutions to pollution. And often lost in the politics is how much progress is happening between the storms. They don't know that 70% of new electricity being installed around the world now is clean energy. They're unaware that solar energy plus storage is actually cheaper than natural gas in California, or that Texas has more installed wind energy than any other state in the country, or that Texas has the first carbon neutral airport, DFW or the biggest army base in the U.S., Fort Hood, that's supplied entirely by wind and solar energy. The reality is, is that the solutions are already here. And in one more sign of this most horrible year, there are fears that the 2020 vintage of Napa Valley wine will taste like smoke. A reminder for future generations that this was the year America decided how much pain it is willing to swallow. Bill Weir, CNN, Napa, California. Thank mm -hmm. you.